good afternoon. Happy September 6th. I thought we would do some Bible reading. I'm trying to get away from the reading the devotionals because I don't know all the YouTube rules about what you can and can't do on YouTube. And I don't want to be reading other people's copyrighted stuff and I don't know. I don't understand how it works. I don't want to have to learn it or figure it out. So I got to be safe. I just read the Bible because I'm pretty sure that that's okay to do. Plus it helps me read my Bible regularly. Oh, Potter's Wheel. I was just talking about that. Let's read this. Um, I was just talking about being clay yesterday, I think. Um, pain at the potter's wheel. Read Jeremiah 18, 1 through 10. Have you seen a potter at the wheel lately? As modern day thinkers, we might wonder why God sent Jeremiah down to the potter's house. We may not know much about pottery except that it's beautiful and expensive. But in Jeremiah's day, pottery was essential for everyday living. Seeing a potter at work was probably as common then as seeing an office worker at a keyboard today. So when God sent Jeremiah to the potter's wheel, he drew on an image that was very familiar to the Israelites in order to highlight the difference between the creator and the created being, the sovereign versus the subject. The potter is highly skilled, imaginative, and purposefully intent upon the outcome of his creation. In contrast, the clay is crude and unformed, misshapen, and useless without the intervention of the master potter. By observing a potter at work, it becomes clear who is doing the shaping and who is being shaped. I've read this one like four different times. I almost like this stuff, but... Um, how odd would it be for the clay to call out the potter? Hey, he's up there, not so rough. It's ridiculous to, to envision. And yet, Jeremiah's lesson of the potter still resonates with us. It is often painful to be the clay. At times we are pressed, pushed, molded, and remolded. Our potter may crush us from time to time when he encounters residual clumps that need smoothing over. However, our master potter knows his business far better than we do. We are a marred and messy mixture of clay and water. In the hands of our skilled potter, the outcome is a beautiful and unique work of art. This week, try to remember the picture of a potter and his clay. Consider the difference between the creator and the creation. It may help to remember that our wise and loving God knows the beautiful vessel he alone is capable of fashioning. I love that. I always love that imagery. Um, at the potter's house. So it looks like I read this April 15th of 2021 last time. That's over a year ago. Um, I don't know. This said to read 1 through 10. Okay. At the potter's house. So this is in Jeremiah 18. Um, this is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house.